and welcome to the video now we're gonna be reviewing our regrets our mistakes and our successes on our journey to the stage because we look like this and now we look like this which we're not happy with so we don't feel good we don't look good obviously for some people we look good but for ourselves we just don't see ourselves as how I saw myself on the stage I just don't feel like my body is how I want it to be same here we just don't feel happy and when you're not happy your cortisol goes up simple as so why did we gain so much weight the first cause is going back before the show because we had been cutting for four months and for the first three months it was completely fine we were doing a flexible dieting approach where we can actually eat some foods that we truly desire maybe some kfc maybe some mcdonald's here and there just small things some sweets we actually like a lot of sweets me and Vladi, we have a whole box of sweets and snacks and we fit them in on our daily diet however on the last three weeks before the show is when we cut out most of our flexible dieting approach meaning no sweets no savory snacks and no processed food so for those three weeks, we are very restricted. And when you have this big of a restriction, what happens after that, Vladi? You start to binge afterwards. You yes. binge big time. Cravings are at all time highs and you want to eat more food than you regularly would want to eat. Two weeks before the show, we decided that we need to deplete our glycogen levels. So therefore we were not eating any type of carbs. The first week of our depletion, we ate 100 grams of carbs every day and then the second week of our depletion we went to zero carbs per day which as you can see in our videos and in this picture right here oh, you, can, you can clearly see that the, we did not have any energy we were very dreadful our face was like a skull and every time we went to go to the gym we had no motivation and the workouts were shit meaning that our overall volume for the last two weeks out of the comp was very very low especially for the muscle retention was very poor because we just couldn't push through the workouts there was no point i did the exercise i was doing lateral raises and it didn't i didn't even feel my shoulders i was just feeling how my joints were getting super tired and then afterwards regarding the cardio it was very dreadful every single step on the stairmaster was a nightmare i just didn't want to do it once I reached 30 minutes, I hit the wall. And in one of our videos, we actually talk about, as we were on a stepper, how we feel very, very low on energy and we reached a wall. Our cognitive function suffered because we were in so low carbs. Our motivation to go to the gym was very low. Our muscles were very depleted and we just lost a lot of muscle mass and a lot of fat at the same time, but we just looked very, very depleted. So this is the cause before the show of why now we binge it so much. We have our notes right here, so buddy, please go over the five main points. The five issues that we had with this overall diet, especially by depleting so much, was the weight rebound, the binge eating, the psychological distress, which was one of the worst things you can have, and the negative effects this diet can lead to is eating disorders, and you feeling like shit because you are not doing what you want to do. You don't look the way you want to look. Therefore, in our case, we knew that we wouldn't pinch, but unfortunately, we still did. And point number one is the weight gain. We both gained seven kilograms each, which is roughly about 15 pounds. As you can see, this is a photo before, and this is a photo after. Absolutely dreadful. And I'm not happy with how I look. I'm not, I don't even feel good. And it just overall, the stress levels were through the roof. And, you can, and the body showed that. This led to very negative stress and negative thoughts in your mind. Because you want to look good, but at the same time, your body is screaming for food. Your mind is going into places that you will never go before. Yeah. And that leads to point number two, binge eating and force feeding yourself. So the first day after our competition, we just literally enjoyed every single sweet that is in our favorite list. As you can see the picture right here. And that moment was truly unbelievable. It was the best moment of our day. And we literally enjoyed every single sweet. 
The next day, however, the first breakfast we had was good, especially the toast, the chocolate, and the peanut butter. That was incredible. Then by lunchtime, once we started eating the junk food with the fries and all the burgers, that's when I kind of like started feeling that we were hitting a wall and we were force feeding ourselves. We were actually getting fuller and we didn't really feel hungry. However, the mind still wanted to eat more food, which is where the binge starts to kick in. And now we go into point number three, psychological distress. What happens when you eat too much and your body just simply doesn't eat it, but your mind wants it? You end up eating too many calories and we ate 10,000 calories in one day, which is in our, on our YouTube channel. And then we had one more day of 10,000 calories, which did, we did not film. And in the span of 10 days, we ate pretty much on our average 5,000 calories per day. This was our diet back when we were powerlifters and we didn't care about our weight. I was 115 and he was 120 kilograms back then. So going back to that state of overeating, it was a very big psychological distress. It was definitely a weird experience because you felt guilty, or in this case, we felt really guilty, yet satisfied. The brain was really satisfied. It was feeling like every time you eat the food, you're satisfied, you're happy. But realistically, your body is not happy because you're not absorbing the food. It's just all about absorption and food is just fuel. In this case, it was not fuel. It was just straight up adding on more fat into our body and just satisfying us with a good taste. Point number four, we have the eating disorders. Mm -hmm. Following such a diet and going through such a very drastic cut can lead to eating disorders. However, a food disorder can be developed when you don't have the correct food habits to begin with. We used to eat the same food every single day for three to four years straight whilst we're doing powerlifting and that's why now after one week of eating 50,000 calories we do not feel the urge to eat the same food now we want to go back to eating normal food and point number cinque is that we honestly believe that we would not binge after our show we thought yes we're gonna be cutting we have to go somewhere to the beach I want to be shredded no your mindset Eat more food, mate. You were starving and you want to go back to homeostasis, which is a state of balance for the whole body. So we just ended up eating a lot more and now I'm just not feeling happy. But even though we were aware that we were going to want to binge eat and actually were prepared not to binge eat, we said, fuck it, and we just ate whatever we want. And these are the results. Main issue arises when you have the food in your home. If you don't have the food, you're not gonna punch it. If you have it in your cupboards or if it's hidden somewhere, you still know that that food is there and it's more likely that you're gonna eat it. And now we go on to the solutions, which the first one is not the wisest one, but it's going to make up for all the calories that we ate, which are 50,000 in 10 days. What is that, buddy? We do not condone this, but we are gonna go on a crash diet for the next seven days. We're gonna simply eat a thousand to 1,200 calories every single day. Do one hour of cardio on the Stairmaster, do one hour of walking to get 15,000 steps and do our workouts where we're gonna try and increase the volume and our overall muscle intensity. This is going to be an intentional crash diet where we know why we're doing this and we're going to monitor our sweet cravings by actually eating sweets and having carbs in our system, 100 grams of carbs per day, not absolute zero. So we don't have a very big impact on our cognitive function and motivation. And another reason why we're gonna do this crash diet is because we want to be shredded on the beach. In two weeks, we're gonna to go to the beach in Bulgaria and I wanna be diced, I wanna have those abs popping and the muscle definition to be right there and get those muscle fibers boo and big. And solution number two is to actually drink more water. Just drink four, five, six liters per day. Actually, right now we are eight liters every single day for the next seven days. And the result so far is that we actually end up eating a lot less. We are doing an intermittent fasting where we actually start to eat from 1.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. at night. And for the first four or five hours of the day, we don't even feel hungry because we drink so much water. By 1 p.m. we've drank 6 liters, 7 liters of water. 
and water is a natural diuretic which makes you flush out all the excess water that you have retained in your body and the first couple of times that you're gonna go to the loo it's gonna be very yellow but then by the end of drinking so much water your urine is gonna be white which means that your body is naturally flushing out all the toxins that it has retained and a small amount of fat as well and point number three is that the sustainable approach after this crash diet is to go up to our maintenance calories which were 3000 per day and we're going to be training harder in the gym and also increasing our output which is again calories in versus calories out just training harder and increasing our calorie output to actually sustain our diet and most importantly build muscle and lose fat and point number four we are going to be eating our regular foods that we eat on a daily basis before this depletion phase and before this cutting phase and additionally we're going to be having 300 calories as a buffer for sweet satisfaction ideally after each meal we're going to have 50 to 100 calories of just one piece of sweet for example one bueno stick or one Reese cup split in two have one for one meal and then have for the next meal so overall this is a more sustainable approach to dieting and also psychological management about food and training and how you look and how you feel because if you feel better you're going to perform better not only in the gym in overall life so your well-being in life will be much much higher your inputs make your outputs that's why we do not condone crash diets or very drastic depletion phases because you're simply going to yo-yo back to your normal weight if not even more which is going to be very detrimental for your health and your overall progress and in conclusion slow builds the flow and fast don't last this is my own saying i know it may be not the best but it's actually very very sustainable and it's an approach which can be applied to any concept in life so thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it we hope you learned a lot because we have been going through a lot eight years of experience and training and now we completely understand that everything takes time time and effort and just putting in the right effort so we can get the right results so like the video if you found it valuable and subscribe to your youtube channel for more content like this adios